top five in their first five-star level competition at the Kentucky Three Day this year. Harry Mead brings superstition back across the Atlantic now to try five-star again. British bred Hanoverian sits 10th here on 29.1. He ran around Kentucky so easily. Yeah, he looked very, very classy this spring, and as I say, it put him onto the list for the championships, both Tokyo and the Europeans at Avanche. Harry just didn't get the nod for either of those, and my goodness, when, you know, the five horses or the four horses that travelled out to Tokyo were all five-star winners. It was a very, very impressive field of horses and riders put out for the European Championships then in Avanche as well, that Britain not only took the team goal, but took all three steps of the individual podium as well. And a horse that was top five at Kentucky this spring was on the sidelines, just listed. It's the, that depth is pretty amazing. But Harry he rides very forward. He's a very good cross-country rider, but the thing he really has an eye for is just being able to jump out of that fast forward stride when it's just a simple stocking filler fence and waste very little time. This horse was an event rider masters winner with Lucy Jackson in Mill Street in Ireland. Yeah, and then a four-star long winner straight away, first time out with Harry at Stregom in Poland. put the real impulse into yep. the horse over that first part he was just behind him saying go yep. and that commitment of just you know the horse was going to do it three out of the top five of this year's kentucky all in contention here we've got boyd martin and on cue we've got tim price and xavier fair and harry mead and superstition who are all top five finishers this spring Superstition out in the far sawmill field, making good pace up. I think they're going to be up at the top of the sawmill hill on their way to the blue crab water. moment to rejoin Harry Mead riding so determinedly down at that open corner so he's not too worried about the frangible pins there Harry who's he's such an analyst of the sport you, know, you hear him talk about the way a fence should be jumped and uh, he's one of those riders and trainers who you know he does as he says so when he's analyzed and thought about how he wants to ride that corner to not have any problem with the breakaway mim clips, that is what he delivers when he goes out and rides it.
Harry Mead. Harry goes long at the final brown advisory water, the Oriole Birds. And look at this, though. He's still got the world of time. So he just takes all the risk out of it because there is a little bit of risk with those birds, especially the first one. We saw Astia Nicola just have a, an uncomfortable jump over that with his five-star first time at Babylon de Gamma. superstition becomes incredibly consolidated at the level as they are just going to finish easing up 15, 15 seconds, seconds inside the time ears are up the horse is easy it looks like it go another 10 or 12 fences easily